guys, it's Sarah. And today I thought it would be fun to do a, if you liked this book, give this book a try recommendation. And I thought about doing this for a while. I've been starting to kind of come up with some ideas. And when I get ideas, I would write them down. I kind of wanted to wait until I had enough <laughs> to warrant a full video. And I'm finally to that point now. So I am very confident in these answers. And these are all books that I have read and really enjoyed. And they definitely give me kind of the same vibes or themes or feelings as other books. So obviously, these are interchangeable. But yeah, so I'm excited. Okay, my first one is going to be if you read and enjoyed Razorblade Tears by S.A. Cosby, then I also highly recommend that you check out Bathhouse by P.J. Vernon. The reason for these <laughs> is that they definitely have the same feelings as far as they are dark, they are violent. There is mysteries to figure out. There is murders happening and you're trying to figure out what's going on. So you're searching for killers and things. And um, so there's definitely that crime aspect of it and the thrill of trying to find out what's going on. The main characters in both these books are the ones who are trying to figure it out. This also, they both also have LGBTQIA plus themes and just the writing in both of these are very dark and very raw and gritty. Those are just kind of the words that come to mind when I think about both of these books. So I think that if you liked one of them, then you would definitely enjoy the other one as well. Okay, my next one is if you liked The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood, then I think you should also check out Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. This is kind of an easy one <laughs> because these are both very popular books. So, you know, it'd be even kind of hard to find people who haven't read either one of them. But definitely the same things as far as they both feature women in STEM. They both feature women in a male-dominated STEM community, even though one of them, Lessons in Chemistry, is set in the past and Love Hypothesis is set in today's uh, time frame. And, but they're still the same battles. <laughs> they're still the same trying to prove yourself, you know, against your male counterpoints. So there's definitely that in both of them. Both of them also feature male characters who are misunderstood or seen in a very certain way, kind of uh, seen as somebody who's very harsh and not understanding and, you know, kind of like a have, have a bad reputation with their employees and co-workers. Um, they both feature that. And, you know, they definitely both feature the female characters are pretty strong. I would say Lessons in Chemistry has a little bit of a stronger, um, she has a stronger personality, a stronger sense of self uh, with her, but, um, but both very good. Okay, my next one is, if you liked The Last Mrs. Parish by Liv Constantine, I think you should try out Every Last Secret by A.R. Torrey. Now, these both feature a toxic friendship, very toxic friendship, and they both feature a woman coming in from the outside trying to infiltrate your life in very similar ways. <laughs> and there are also lots of secrets and there are twists and turns. And I don't, don't want to say too much else because if you haven't read either one of them, you definitely don't want to know too much going in. But definitely a toxic friendship situation. Um, very much backstabbing and, you know, just trying to take things away from someone else, you know, like every aspect of their life. And yeah, they're both very good. Okay. The next one is if you read and loved the Hunger Games, I think you would also really like Lore by Alexander Bracken. So Lore is not set in a dystopian world. It's set in our world. <laughs> it's our world. Like they live in New York. And the difference is that with lore, there is a competition and there is kind of a fight to the death type of thing happening where selected pe people are, you know, playing for their lives and hunting for their lives. But they are in competition with Greek gods. And that's what makes it, you know, definitely different from Hunger Games. But not only do they fight the Greek gods, but if they defeat them, they get their powers. 
It's so good, you guys. <laughs> and Lore is part of a lineage of the Greek gods, but she's trying to ignore it. She doesn't want anything to do with it. She's trying to just live her life as a mortal and like not be any part of that. But she does end up getting lured into it and is part of this competition this time around. So yeah, obviously Hunger Games is completely fantastic, but Lore also is too. Okay, and my last one is if you read and enjoyed Me Before You by Jojo Moyes, I think you should also read Wait For It by Jen McKinley. I just recently read this book and it definitely reminded me quite a bit of Me Before You in the ways that there is a grumpy sunshine situation. So we have a very grumpy male who has a medical limitation and he is using that as an excuse to live a reclusive life and he believes he's not good enough for anybody, that kind of thing. Same thing with me before you. Um, and then we have this woman who is bubbly and happy and blah, 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 blah. Now in Wait For It, she is not a caretaker. She ends up being a guest in his guest house and she's like a tenant of his for a temporary period of time. And so that's how they have the connection. That's how they meet and stuff. And uh, definitely similar in the you know medical situation and that they have a bond that grows you know, despite that and, um, all that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, but both very good. Okay, guys, that is it. Those are some recommendations I have for, if you liked one of these books, the other one can go in the same veins and maybe give you the same feelings and hopefully you would like them just as much. Let me know down below. Um, if you have any other ones that would go with these, that would be awesome to know if there's, you know, some other ones that would have these same themes or same feelings, um, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.